Hey, what's going on world? So, you know, we are going places with Jesus Ministries and we're here with Senior Pastor Roger Jordan. I'm Evangelist Sidoni Bariner and we're in the park. This is all a part of our In the Park series. Uh, we know you've been watching uh, over the past few weeks, uh, Pastor Roger, and you've been touching on some dynamite topics about eternity, about heaven and hell, and just actually spilling the tea and keeping us uh, on the path of truth. Yes. There's a lot of misconception biblical about truth. biblical truth, <laughs> sir. There's a lot of misconception out there, but we hope that the videos, you know, even though they are really short and very, you know, direct and to the point, we hope that you're constantly being blessed by them. So go on ahead and hit a like right now on this um, this video, and also do remember to subscribe, okay? Because we have a goal of getting to a thousand subscribers just so we can increase the content yes. and the uh, frequency of our content too all right um today we're going to talk about evangelism and and why why it is so important pastor raj and really some of the stuff just this is going to be like uh tips for people coming into evangelism um you know some of the stuff that we see because we do a lot of in the streets evangelism we take it outside of the four walls and it's a different, it's a different dynamic that you're dealing with when you take evangelism outside of the four walls and take it in the streets. Yes. What are some of the things that you've seen, Pastor Raj, um, doing evangelism in the streets? Like really weird things. Yeah, I mean, uh, throughout the years, uh, doing evangelism for a long time, I've seen people getting delivered right on the streets absolutely uh demonic manifestations so now when we're talking about yeah. evangelizing on the streets um what do you do when a when a demon is manifesting through that person uh these things are imperative uh to know or you'll run away <laughs> and yeah. when you look at the life of jesus christ he faced all of those things when he was evangelizing yes and he shows it he literally showed it to us in scripture all these different experiences that he had yeah. while evangelizing yeah. to let us know what we're going to face when we hit the streets and as you said not in a church controlled setting mm. but they can be picked up and removed from the room and Plus. all that stuff no but uh where god's power is unleashed and released right there and then yes. literally bringing deliverance to their lives right on the spot without delay quickly and fast yes that is the thing about it, sir, because I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people when they read, especially when you read, when they read the Gospels, there are churches, unfortunately, that try to downplay the fact that Jesus Christ led a full on, full out deliverance ministry. Yes. Do not get it twisted. They're trying to run Everywhere Jesus Christ went, there was some sort of demonic manifestation and the person that was facing that demonic manifestation and oppression had to be delivered so don't so so let's let's get that very clear go back and read scriptures carefully understanding this so deliverance and demonic manifestations are not things that we should run away from when we're evangelizing these are things like jesus christ told some of the disciples when they went out and they did what they did and they came back laughing ah oh the demons flee the demons flee and jesus was like no you need to you need to you need that. to be excited about the fact that they see me in you hello do you understand so so that's that that can be a form of uh i don't know and i know for us yes it is a form of encouragement that the holy spirit is leading us on these evangelical trips yes. we're not just doing them because oh you know we want to be in the streets absolutely not absolutely not it is a sign that god's holy spirit is there and that god's holy spirit has shown up to set the captive free i even dare to say that the bible is very clear that where iniquity abounds grace much more abounds wow what does that really mean you're going to see a greater level of power and authority yes on the streets more than even in the church yes why because there are demonic powers mm. out there on the streets wow. Wow. that needs a greater level of power to overtake it. Yes. So now, I don't. I know you know. Okay. <laughs> when 
hitting the streets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is a level of anointing. As a matter of fact, you literally feel the excelling of power, yes. excelling of glory anytime yes. a demonic manifestation takes place. You literally feel the you power feel of the Holy Spirit manifesting in a stronger way to Rising subdue up. Yes. the yes. demonic spirits in order to uh, complete the assignment. Yes. And you will, you will, you, you will feel My there God. will be changes in your body because in the realm remember, of yeah, in the, in the realm of this, you'll feel that change in your body. You will feel yourself getting all of a sudden. you you become super bold. Yes. All of a sudden, you you become super radical. courageous and radical. Whatever the Holy Spirit will tell you to say in that moment, you will say it, and you will have no fear of ramifications. That's when you know you're walking under the anointing of God's Holy Spirit because God's Holy Spirit empowers us to do the things that Christ did and to do even greater things. Great. Great. Okay, so let's let, let, let's have that very clear understanding. That's biblical. That's that's biblical. Absolutely biblical. So so one of the things, Pastor Raj, one of the experiences I had in the streets and, and as we go on, you know, for us for us to really like bring this across to you um we have to be 100 percent transparent of course we're not gonna um you know identify the persons we were outside a particular supermarket ministering stopping people praying with people you know just evangelizing telling people about jesus christ telling people about the truth that there is a god who saves and there's a god who is not willing for you to perish but that you would come to repentance and turn your life around and that you can enter into eternity with God. And she, she was, you know, she was sharing some stuff with us. And she was like, wow, you know, this is really what I needed for today. I didn't even, I, I didn't want to stop, but I stopped. Something told me to stop. And thank you so much for praying with me. And she said, she's like, you know, just let me just give you guys a hug. And she reached in and she hugged me. And I was there, there was another individual, because we normally go out in pairs to do evangelism. And so my other teammate was there still praying, you know. And I remember I had to say, that I had to do like this to the person, because I felt her getting limp in my hug. And I'm like, okay, well, what is going on here? And immediately before fear had a chance to step in, Come on and caused me to be like oh my gosh freak out though i just and this woman was three times my body size wow i do not understand how i held her without falling to the ground with her but i held her i was able to gently lay her down on the ground and we started to minister to her we started to to like really minister right under the, the power of God's anointing literally on the side there were cars driving by okay and we ministered to the young lady she there was a very strong demonic presence you 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 felt that whatever was oppressing her did not want to go but immediately we were just emboldened funny enough our intercessor team was at at in their respective homes praying because whenever we go out to evangelism the intercessors team know that it's their responsibility back to the back spirit. up in the spirit they immediately felt a different level of warfare and everything about every intercessor um switched to like third gear or fourth warfare. gear yep. warfare prayers and so we had the prayers of the intercessors backing us up there and of course the power of god's holy spirit oh. i'm telling you this young lady was fully 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 <laughs> delivered they called the ambulance when the, um, the, the paramedics came, they took the woman's blood sugar, they took her blood pressure, they gave her a temperature check. This woman had a temperature of like 98.7, normal. She had a blood pressure of almost textbook, like her blood pressure is like 121 over I think 82. Good God textbook right. blood pressure is 120 over 80. Hello. Okay. This woman's blood glucose level was <laughs> perfectly within normal range the paramedic said i do not understand what happened i i can't, there's nothing medically wrong with the woman that caused her 
except for the fact spiritually we understood that it was a demonic oppression that she was under and she got her deliverance and that deliverance because that demon had to be extracted yes. from her it caused they're, 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 and that is what you need we need to understand that, that, that these things are spirits absolutely and if they get a chance to exactly. run up Make and down sick. in a body they will do that because every spirit needs a body to inhabit a host, yep. a host. you understand so when you see these things happening on your evangelical journey don't be fearful, don't be fearful. Because God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. So you will be in the correct state of mind to fully carry out the assignment. And once that assignment is complete, sir, I don't know if you... I know you feel it. But you feel... A release. A release. A freedom. A you feel a freedom within your spirit, knowing, okay, God, <laughs> the assignment, this, what you brought me here to do, has been completed. My God, that was Jesus said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means harm you. Nothing. And that's a level of authority. Absolutely. So you feel as though, Wow, I can't do it. No, yes, you can. Jesus, you mentioned greater work. Jesus said, Greater work shall you do because I go to my Father which is in heaven. Come so on. Now we have to understand, of course, there's going to be a demonic manifestation mm -hmm. when the power of God shows up. Because these demons, they don't know what to do. They act the fool. But I'm saying when Jesus went to the demoniac, they, they, they started tripping. Come to torment us before the time. Come to torment us before the time. They started tripping. Why? <laughs> because the power of God is so strong. 